onde eu estiver. Well, it's Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. Sort of, if you're having a picnic or something, enjoy. We were working this morning. I got some, I got two gardening areas done. And it looks really pretty, better than it did. And we're just like, kind of grungy today. We, I helped John, he climbed up and cleaned Daniel's van. I had to hand him the hose and the scrubber because his van is so tall that it gets like this black rose like layer of ew on the top. Anyway, we're gonna put the gazebo up and he wanted to try to power wash it. I make them, I make them like, we're just very different. He likes to get things done. I like to putter and you know, make things look a certain way. Oh, all is good. I was just inside having a little lunch and coffee and get to working on the gazebo. In, in my house, like the sun is on the front of the house in the morning. Then it comes around the back. It's pretty hot right now, but yet after about three o'clock, the shade starts in one corner because the trees are so big. So it looks like the shade is kind of coming around. I'm going to do one more year with it. Come on. This is a project I'm working on. It consists mostly of perennials that I have moved and taken care of from other spots I've found in the yard. Holly, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? They are very good little explorers, Henry and Holly. Come on this way. Sniffing and all that. What do you smell, Henry? It's hot on the trail or something. What's been in our yard? Find it, you guys, find it. What is it, Henry? Find it. Where is it? Where is it? Get it, Henry. Find it. Find it. Come on. Come on, where is it, Henry? something the fox comes through sometimes end of Memorial Day we had a very relaxed afternoon and had pizza and stuff here's Thomas hey. what it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow hi there friends today I had my windows cleaned <laughs> they needed it my house had the dirtiest windows. All 30 windows got cleaned inside out storms because I just got sick of looking while I was working and editing at my desk and seeing filmy haze through my windows. And sometimes when 
you know that physically you're just not able to do a lot of the things you're, you used to be able to do, then you gotta hire someone to do it. Anyway, I feel so much better. My house looks cleaner already. And that's what I did today. It's just these guys were here a good few hours and I had to move a lot of stuff out of the way. It's kind of a mess, but it's good. The guy did a good job. His people did a good job. They were very nice. It was a gloomy, nasty, cold, rainy, icky, blah day. So that's what I did. Now I have to put something in the mailbox and take the dogs out. Hey, are you going to get in trouble today? Mm. Huh? Are you going to get in trouble at school? Your last few days of school? He's saying it's not coming fast enough. Yeah? You ready to be done? And do new things? And go on new adventures? I have to put your picture in my vlog in the morning because that's a nice way to start it. And Holly loves you. Look at her. Don't go, Daniel. I love you. <laughs> no. You, you want to see her before you head out? Here she is. Oh. Her hair is getting long again. She needs a bath. Keep it up. Actually, with this muddiness outside. Yeah. It's hard to keep a white dog clean. So. Yeah, right? Wow, the windows look so clean, Henry. Wow. Bye, Daniel. Love you. All right, I just wrapped up therapy. I have it on Wednesdays now. Today is Wednesday. Second week with my new therapist was better than first week. It's just really hard when you have to start all over again with someone new, but that's okay. And she gave me an exercise to do when I'm experiencing anxiety, experiencing anxiety, and that is to set my phone with an alarm every hour, or I guess as much as possible. And when it goes off, to just stop and breathe three times, just like deep breathing in and deep breathing out, like three or four seconds, and do it every hour. The concept is to change your your body's response to the anxiety because after a while your body develops a habit of doing certain things right like heart racing or whatever if you focus on deep breathing instead after a while your body will really start to do it instinctively I guess I guess that's the concept so all I know is I can try that but right now I need to go to work and I'm gonna get an iced coffee because I'm parched <laughs> yeah no it was good it was a good trying to do all the things, you know? Andrew Zoli, who wrote a book called Resilience, and he and I had this amazing conversation that's actually in the book, and he talks about how when things go wrong, right, when a situation goes wrong, when a, you know, it could be a structure breaks, you know, a resilient structure or a resilient person breaks because there, there, there are, you know, things in place that are, flexi there's flexibility and there's improvisation, right? So if a person is in a situation where things go whack, right, because they always do, the person who is not going to break from rigidity is going to be more flexible and is also going to be able to improvise on that situation to make it better. So when you do something you're not entirely expert at, right, you don't have that expert. I was just listening to an author on So Money. Yeah, well, she was talking about her book, and um, it sounds really good. I think I'm going to get it. But one of the things she was just saying that that the person who is able to be more resilient, you know, and strengthens their resiliency um, through life and all of that, uh, is is far more able to cope and be successful when things break and change and alter and it just makes me think about my own life how I had to be resilient right and I'm still being resilient I'm still breaking and changing and altering pretty much literally every day right reinventing myself every time I wake up in the morning <laughs> and I'm getting closer to like more cool stuff right so I have a lot of new ideas but the creativity only seems to come when I'm faced with, you know, 
this this incredible at the time feeling stressed out because things are not going the way I planned and then I just basically say well it's all right you know what I'm just gonna go left instead of right up instead of down and uh, figure it out what do I want to do I need to take care of this boy who is so disabled he will never have an independent life I need to take care of the family and me and John and our life and money and my and my incredibly supportive community you guys on YouTube and my polymicrogyria families on Facebook and all of the other people who honestly sometimes I really really, really think about being isolated and I am not isolated as a matter of fact maybe I'm not walking around with uh, plentiful friends that want to take me out to coffee or you know hang out for a little while here in town but I have you guys and it's incredible how much feedback I get so many positive things resiliency just being able to change and grow and adapt at 52 I think I've become pretty good at it you know when you're dealt life is what it is you can't you can't walk backwards you got to be able to change and adapt and grow and learn and laugh and smile and just get through it yeah, yeah I liked that little bit I forget the author's name now because I'm driving but um, I listened to so many from Noosh Tarabi she has the greatest female I'm driving I'm sweating I gotta go home the thunderstorm coming in giving me anxiety because my little boy is gonna be Henry shaking in his shoes pause okay I'm in my garage so now I'm gonna go inside I'm thinking about all of the things in my life happening right now so <sighs> new therapist gave me a breathing exercise and I'm gonna keep working on it. I've been doing it, but I gotta do the set the alarm thing, but I just don't wanna be annoyed by another thing interrupting my day. Ah, so, anyhow. Back in the garage again. Now I'm gonna go over to the high school, meet John for the awards <laughs> ceremony, awards presentation, senior awards. I just inhaled some dinner with Thomas, it's like, here we go. Hello, I'm Andrea Spencer. This is Laura Gavin, and we are with the Newtown Cultural Arts Commission. We are pleased tonight to present scholarships of $1,250 each to three graduating seniors. To be eligible for this scholarship, the student must be a resident of Newtown, must be continuing their education, and must have intentions of majoring in the arts. Our first award winner began his musical journey in fifth grade when he started learning the baritone saxophone and band became his favorite activity. By eighth grade, he embraced his passion for music and earned spots with the high school marching band and the coveted gold jazz band. During the past five years, his dedication and tireless work ethic has been an inspiration to all those around him. He has studied privately and in numerous group settings. Baritone saxophone remains his favorite instrument, but he is proficient in 11 others. He has participated in countless rehearsals and performances with bands, orchestras, ensembles, and ensembles at Newtown High, Danbury Music Center, the Litchfield Jazz Camp, and New York Jazz Academy. Currently, he's playing in the Western Connecticut Youth Orchestra at Richmond. He twice won the Judges' Choice Award at the 2018 Berkeley High School Jazz Festival. And that same year, received an award for Outstanding Jazz Soloist at the Festival for the Arts in Toronto, Canada. <coughs> Finally, this young man has graciously volunteered to perform at several community events and in the pit orchestra for many school plays and other local stage productions. Always willing to help with fellow musicians with instruction and he is a team leader, a team builder, and an excellent role model for younger musicians. This fall, he will be attending Berkeley College of Music with a double major in music education and performance. 
Congratulations to Thomas Hatchett.